Hello everyone, this month we are in the month of Capricorn, the month of Tevet, Gdi. What is Capricorn? What is Capricorn about? The month of Capricorn is not an easy month. Everybody knows that. It's not easy to be a Capricorn, maybe the toughest from all 12 signs of the zodiac. And it's not easy to go through this month. Prepare for it, but as my many of my students are saying, thank God for teaching me that because I know it's not me, it's not about me. I know this is the month. The Zohar says that this fact is encoded in the story of the birth of Moses. Moses is being born, and it says that his mother hid him for three months. And the Zohar in Parashat Shmot is telling us that this is a code in the Torah, that there are three months along the year that there's a, there's a darkness in the universe and the protection is, is hidden and encrypt, encrypted, which means it's not accessible. These months are Cancer, the month of Cancer, the month of Leo, and the month of Capricorn. If you notice, they're not, you know, they're not following each other Sequen sequentially in the uh, along the year. These are three months with such negativity that the protection that is available to us along the year is not available during this month. Which means you are for yourself. And that means a lot of radiation, a lot of stress, and you have to fight for yourself. You have to create, generate your protection by yourself. So what is this month about? The story is encoded also in another place in Genesis, in the book of Genesis, and it's the story of the birth of the tribe, the twelve tribes of Israel. Each one of them is a chariot for one of the twelve signs of the zodiac. Why? To give us the ability to control that sign and to transform any negativity to positivity. This is the story, and that's why when we are being told about each one of the tribes, how he was born, how he was named, how he grew up, what kind of a tribe he, beca he became, and how they came, camped these tribes in the desert, the Book of Numbers, we learn about the secrets of each one of the twelve signs of the zodiac. The tribe of God is GAD is the tribe that is the chariot for the month of Capricorn. And it, the story of God is very simple. Leah, the wife of Jacob, gives birth to four sons and then she's not giving birth anymore. She wants to bring more sons, so she takes her maid, half-sister maid, Zilpa. She brings her to Jacob. However, Jacob, the story says, and it's not about what happened, it's about understanding what Capricorn is about. Jacob is not aware that night that in bed it's not Leah, but it is Zilpa. Zilpa gets pregnant, so the legend is saying, and a boy is being born. And as Leah sees that boy, she says, We are lucky. Ba God. Luck, good luck has arrived. In Hebrew it's Ba God. However, the way it's written, the letter Aleph in the word Ba has been dropped. Instead of two words, two letters in each. Ba God. You get one word, three letters each. Ba God. Bagad in Hebrew means treason. It means someone left, deserted. Who left and deserted? The letter Aleph that symbolized the light of the Creator. And since that moment we learn that Capricorn is a sign that is supposed to have a lot of fortune, a lot of light, a lot of everything. However, that has left. And the lack that is left behind, the vacuum that is left behind, is haunting the people of that sign all their lives. Either they feel hunger, they feel fear that they will never have, 
And when they do have, because they work so hard, because they're so hungry, they're so motivated, when they do have fortune, they have so many anxieties that it's going to leave them. And usually it does leave them. So, this is the month of Capricorn. And when this month is arriving, we all become kinds of Capricorn. With anxieties, with the fear, with the desire to be in control, because if I'm not in control, nothing will happen. On one hand. On the other hand, when you are subjected to such fears and anxieties, you are not spiritual and there's no wisdom. There's no space for any wisdom in your life. And through the hard way, the people who are born in the sign of Capricorn and the people who are under control of the sign of Capricorn in their chart, because we all have Capricorn somehow in our chart. The human journey is to learn to go above these fears and anxieties and to learn how to connect, to trust, faith in the light. Sign of Capricorn, because of its powerful traits and because of planet Saturn, who's controlling that sign. And planet Saturn is the big teacher, according to Sefer Yetzirah of Abraham the Patriarch. He is the big teacher. Why? Because planet, Capric uh, planet uh, Saturn is teaching us that the only safe place is being with the light. It's faith. Everything else, money, political power, financial power, anything of physical nature, once it's here, the other moment it's not. And how to learn how to tap into these forces, the letter bet for Saturn, the letter Ein for Capricorn. Both letters together, it's 72, Ein bet. Huge power. Yes, in order to inherit that power, you have to give up a lot of your physical consciousness. Spirituality is a must during this month. And then, a lot can be achieved. How do you learn? What do you learn about it? Why is it like this? More wisdom that you can find on the site. Thank you and have a great month.